guys, it's Melanie and welcome to day three of my, this is the same outfit hair and makeup stretch. Um, I promise that in tomorrow's video, I will have different makeup, different hair, different clothes, but I'm trying to get as much done as I can today. So today we are talking about a skincare line and this was a line that was sent to me for consideration by Alana Mitchell, which is the name of the skincare line. She actually is an esthetician down in California and she also has a website where she sells um, other lines of skincare as well. So she's got Obagi, she's got uh, Dermaquest, Dermalogica, um, the Bio Elements skincare line, um, and the Rhonda Allison. Those are just to name a few. So she has her own line that she sells on her website as well as those other lines. So she developed this particular line of items that she sent to me to be able to use on her clients and for to basically send them home with them as well so being that she is an esthetician she obviously has a lot of experience using a wide variety of products and i feel like she has a pretty good sense of what works and what doesn't and formulated her products around that so i'm going to be sharing with you guys the three products that she sent and the first is the foaming pumpkin cleanser I also have her Moisture Boost Serum and her Daily Vitamin C Moisturizer. I've been using all of these products for the last five weeks. I've given them a solid test and um, I have some good feedback on them. So um, you can see the cleanser here I have obviously used the most of. This is what I've been using every single night to cleanse my face with the exception of a couple of days here and there where I've been using the Glycolic Facial Cleanser from um, Mario Badescu. But for the most part, this is what I have been using in the evening with my Clarisonic to remove my makeup. I do have the website pulled up here, which will, I will, of course, link down below. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys what she says the ingredients are in here and what the benefits are for these specific ingredients. Um, and then I'll kind of tell you about my experience and then we'll move on to the next product. So this is the Foaming Pumpkin Cleanser. It's formulated with pumpkin seed oil, carrot seed oil, organic ginger extract, clove essential oil, and um, this is said to be a very nourishing cleanser and is a wonderful choice for all skin types, including sensitive skin. So the product benefits are that it effortlessly cleanses away dirt, oil, and makeup, uh, gently yet effectively clears the pores for a refined look. And there are no artificial fragrances and this is paraben free so the pumpkin seed oil is going to deliver um, uh, let's see here so it's said to be a, um, an ultimate multitasking uh, ingredient that works to increase skin firmness fight acne boost cell turnover gently brighten and deliver moisture to the skin the carrot seed oil delivers vitamin C in each of the skin, resulting in skin healing, rejuvenation, and environmental protection. And then the last is the organic ginger extract, which helps to soothe and heal the skin. So um, this cleanser is available by itself, or I believe you can buy these things together as well. So the size that you get is six fluid ounces. Um, I use about four pumps of this on my Clarisonic. It is a foaming product, but it doesn't get super foamy the way that some foaming cleansers that have this type of al applicator can get. Um, so like I said, about four pumps does my whole face and my neck as well. The one piece of feedback that I have about this particular product is that the there is cinnamon essential oil in here as well and honestly the scent of that cinnamon is really really strong this basically smells like mike's red hots or is it mike and ike's mike and ike's red hots i don't eat them because i hate that flavor and i honestly i don't love the smell of this i gotta be honest with you guys if you like cinnamon, you will probably really love the fragrance of this, but I do struggle with the fragrance, which I'm kind of torn on this product because I love the way that it cleanses my skin, but the smell of it is just way too overwhelming for me. And you guys know that I am a fragrance girl. I love to have scented things. I love my things to smell good. 
This to me does not smell good, but it is super gentle. It does not irritate my skin. There is a slight warming sensation to the skin when I use this, but it's, it's pretty gentle. It takes off all of my makeup doesn't dry my skin. Um, when I'm done cleansing my face, it doesn't feel tight or irritated in any kind of way. Now, I don't personally have sensitive skin, so something to keep in mind, if you are truly sensitive and you think that the um, cinnamon oil or the clove oil will bother you, just kind of keep that in mind. But it is a good, basic, gentle cleanser. I really like it. I love the way that it dispenses. I always know the perfect amount to choose. It's just four pumps that does everything that I need it to. It rinses really clean. It's a good cleanser, but the smell of it, I struggle with the smell to be completely honest, you guys. So would I repurchase this? No. <laughs> I mean, maybe if she came out with an unscented version, mm, yes, I probably would, honestly. But if it continues to have the cinnamon smell, I just, I can't, I personally can't do the cinnamon. So there's that. Next, let's talk about the Moisture Boost Serum. So this guy right here, this is two fluid ounces and it comes with a really nice um, pump applicator. This is completely airtight. I really like her packaging. I think the packaging she chose is perfect. Doesn't let light in, doesn't let air in, keeps the product really nice. So this is designed with dry combo and sensitive skin types in mind. It has um, uh, hyaluronic acid in it to firm, hydrate, and refine your complexion. So the hyaluronic acid, as we all know, binds moisture to the skin, so it's an excellent hydrator. It pumps fine lines and wrinkles um, by promoting 10 times the hydration. And there are, again, no artificial fragrances or parabens in this. And this also contains aloe, which we know that aloe is good in hydrating the skin and sort of relieving um, any irritations that you might be dealing with, whether it's like a breakout or a sunburn or something like that. Um, this also has, okay, I'm going to butcher this, but I'm going to try it. Cassia angustifolia seed polysaccharide. I did not look that one up prior <laughs> to starting this video, but this is a botanical hyaluronic acid that works to infuse serious moisture into the skin for a softer, smoother, more supple appearance. So again, hyaluronic acid helps to plump your skin and helps it to look younger by basically giving you a ton of hydration. So love that. And then also vitamin E, which delivers deep hydration while protecting from free radicals, which we all know is important to do. So um, this, I love this. I only use this in the evening. Um, it does have a lotion type consistency. So almost slightly jelly at first, but um, it absorbs really easily. Um, just like a more watery serum would when it comes to hyaluronic acids. It does have a citrus scent to it. Now I looked at the ingredients and there is clementine essential oil in here, which is that citrus scent that you're getting. It smells really good. It's really light and it dissipates pretty quickly. But I love this. Um, I do not use it in the morning because I find that it's a little bit too heavy for morning time for me personally. And I have some other things that I love in my morning routine. But those of you that are normal, combination, even dry, this would be an excellent morning moisturizer for you. And then the last thing that we're going to talk about is the Daily Vitamin C Moisturizer. And um, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys a little bit about this. So this is perfect for a variety of skin types, especially dry, combo, and sensitive skins. Um, it delivers hydrating, anti-aging, and rejuvenating results, so all good things. Um, the product benefits are that it's hydrating, anti-aging, and rejuvenating. It's perfect for rosacea, eczema, and sensitive skin. I was really intrigued by that eczema claim. Um, and it's again artificial fragrance and paraben free. So this contains organic aloe. Again, th this is going to soothe the skin and um, if you have any kind of irritation going on, it's going to help calm that. It has vitamin C in it. Uh, sodium ascorbyl phosphate is the vitamin C that is used. So if you are particular about your sources of vitamin C, that is the one that is in here and that delivers a host of benefits including skin brightening, anti-aging, 
antioxidant protection and more and um, it has that polysaccharide <laughs> stuff in there again once again a botanical hyaluronic acid that works to infuse serious moisture into the skin for a softer more supple appearance so that is what this is I'm going to show you guys on my other hand the consistency of this so this is much more of like a traditional lotion it's it's white once again it sinks into the skin really really nicely this does once again have a um a citrus scent to it and this is i believe the organic sweet orange essence essential oil that you are smelling in here um oh this one smells really good but like with this one i can't smell this one at all anymore once it really soaks into the skin it's like it's like there's no smell at all. Yeah. This one's still a little bit, but um, I really like this. Again, this is a product that I use in the evening, and honestly, I layer these two. I have great success with that. I find that when I wake up in the morning after using both of these, my skin is brighter, it is plumped, it's refreshed. Um, all I do is wash my face in the morning, and I still feel like I have good amount of hydration. Um, and I'm good to go for the rest of the day. If I do have a dry patch, I will use just a little bit of that Moisture Boost Serum. Like sometimes my nose here will get a little bit dry. I'll put a little bit there. This is really nice. It doesn't take much of the product. Um, I use probably two and a half pumps and that does my face and my neck with each of these. I still, I would say, probably have more than half of the product left after using it for five weeks, very consistently every single night. This is great. It's a great line, you guys. I really like these two products. I would highly recommend the Daily Vitamin C Moisturizer as well as the Moisture Boost Serum. I think both have really good quality ingredients. They did not irritate my skin. They felt really, really nice soothing again I wake up the next morning my skin is supple and hydrated and just feels really really good um, this I wish that I could recommend it more highly but I have a feeling that if some of you got this and you didn't like the smell of cinnamon <clears throat> you would be really bothered by the scent so I just want to make clear that this is a very strong fragrance that is in here now, she does also have some other items in her core skincare line that she has created. So she also has an anti-aging peptide eye cream. Um, she has a lip balm as well as um, cleansing pods. And then she also has a mask as well. The reviews are really good on her website. Um, she does have a kit where she sells everything, but let me tell you guys the pricing of the items individually. So this cleanser retails for $32 on her website. Again, that's for six ounces. The vitamin C moisturizes retails for $42. Um, I do think that's a little bit much for this. I would put it, I think it would be more appropriate in like the 30 to $35 range. But it is a higher quality product, so I can see that she charges a little bit more for it. The Moisture Boost Serum, right? Yep, that's what I'm holding. <laughs> this retails for $39, and I think this is pretty aptly priced. Again, probably somewhere in the $35 range, I think is a good, you know, would be a good price for this. But she's really not far off with her pricing, to be completely honest. These are very high quality products. Um... The entire line, she has it on sale right now for a limited time offer of $79, which is a really good deal. Um, it does contain the cleanser in it, so just know that you know you would be getting the cleanser with that. But it also has her eye cream, as well as the cleansing pods and the mask in there. So that's a really good deal for everything, especially if you are wanting to try these two things. Um, once you bought these two, you might as well just get the full kit and be able to try everything. But yeah, I really, I enjoyed using the products a lot. I will finish using this cleanser because I do find it, like I said, to be a good cleanser, but um, it's not something I would repurchase. And these I am happy to use up and probably will repurchase in the future. So I really like her line. I encourage you to go check out Alana's website and read a little bit more about her and um, you know why she does what she does and sort of what her thoughts are on 
um, skincare from an esthetician's take. So um, go check out our website. And thank you so much to Alana for reaching out and sending me these products to be able to try. Love trying new skincare and um, I really like what she's done with her line. I think it's great. So let me know if you guys have any questions at all and I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye.